Well, we got to talk about the Velveteen Dream. Should I wait till the next segment since I don't think it's going to be two minutes? <laughs> I'll read this story here and then we'll talk more after the break. It's from WrestlingObserver.com. Velveteen Dream has been released by WWE, confirmed by our Dave Meltzer. I confirmed this one yesterday. How don't I ever get credit, Nason? Dream was part of several NXT releases over the past two days and competed in a match since December of 2020, losing to Adam Cole on an episode of NXT. He had been used sparingly through the last four months of the year, wrestling only five times. As of now, no news as to what caused his release. Part of the sixth season of Tough Enough, he was 25 years old. Patrick Clark debuted the Velveteen Dream character in 2017, quickly became a fan favorite. As part of the Speaking Out movement last April that shone a light on sexual abuse and misconduct in the pro wrestling industry, he was accused of sending pictures to underage boys. More allegations arose in June, but he denied all allegations, saying, quote, a private photo of mine was shared without my consent or knowledge, and I am working with a third party to look into this matter. He was also involved in a car accident around the same time in June. That took him off television. Last August, Paul Levesque was asked about the allegations and said WWE looked into them and, quote, there was nothing there, again saying the reason he was taken off TV was due to the car accident. Eight on-air talents were cut on Wednesday, including Alexander Wolfe and controversial referee Drake Wirtz. So here's the gist of the story, everybody, as quickly as I can before the break. I don't know why he was fired, okay? I don't know. But... I I believe that WWE believes that there was nothing to the allegations against the Velveteen Dream, okay? I do believe they believe that. I don't know if there's any truth to the allegations. I have no idea. What I'm saying is I believe they believe because I also believe that if they believed there was anything to the accusations, that guy would have been out of there a while ago. Again... I don't know why they fired the Velveteen Dream, all right? Accusations against Velveteen Dream. Like I said, I believe the WWE believes that he didn't do anything. Because if they believed he did do something, he would be out of there. And I would like to add before I go further that over the last couple of days, there have been other stories that have come out about other people backstage at NXT, some of whom have been released. And the reality is some of those stories were, in fact, blown out of proportion. Because, I mean, just for example, like, if you and someone else get into a physical altercation, a fight backstage, bro, they're firing you. That's just what's going to happen. They're not, they're not just going to bl- sweep it under the rug and let you go back and do whatever you were doing. Like, some of the stuff not blown out of proportion, some of the stuff blown out of proportion. With the Velveteen Dream, like I said... Whether he did whatever or not, I do not believe that the reason he was fired had anything to do with allegations well over a year ago. If they investigated those allegations and felt there was anything to it, dude's out of there. He's gone. For whatever reason, WWE clearly believes that he didn't do anything. That's it. So why was he fired? Well, like I said, I don't know, but I do know this. There were a lot of problems with the Velveteen Dream that had nothing to do with any accusations. There were behavioral problems with the Velveteen Dream. There was, and Triple H, I mean, he didn't go into a lot of detail, but when Velveteen Dream was off television, I mean, Triple H said it was as a result of the car accident. What happened with the car accident? I don't know. But I do know that if you have followed the career, the on-screen career of Velveteen Dream, how many times was Velveteen Dream featured and then he just vanished for an extended period of time? It happened all the time. Impression I've been given is the reason that he regularly vanished for extended periods of time was due to outside of the ring issues, whatever those might be. At some point, what can you do with a guy? He had friends very, very high up, obviously. And so there were issues that some talent didn't necessarily feel comfortable going to management about because he was close with management. But I heard about behavioral issues in NXT. I heard about issues when he went other places, whether it be Evolve or whatever. So there was a lot going on with Velveteen Dream. And as noted here in the story, he hadn't been on TV since December. It's May. 
So I don't know what happened in the last five months, but it came time to do cuts. And they clearly felt that this was not worth dealing with. Now, whether that means he'll ever be back or not, I don't know. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll go somewhere else. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But that is the story on the Velveteen Dream. You know, one doesn't have anything to do with the other. or Maybe it does. I don't know. But with all of his other issues that he has, you know, apparently outside the ring and all of these other things he's been accused of or, or cleared of, whatever it is, bottom line is in the ring, there have been diminishing returns with the Velveteen Dream for quite some time, whether that has got to do all with his back, whatever it is, in his head, whatever. The performances weren't there in the last couple of times he was in big matches in the ring for whatever reason. So, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes. He's going to have a very interesting time on the indies, I would believe, who's going to take a shot at him with everything that's happened. Whether he's been cleared with things or not, I don't think. In the court of public opinion of hardcore wrestling fans, I don't know if that's the case. And whether you believe in those people or not and what they say, they do hold a lot of sway. And there are going to be people, if he's booked somewhere, that are going to be very anti that move. So it'll be interesting to see where he goes, how that whole thing plays itself out. I know he's with Maryland Championship Wrestling uh, as Patrick Clark uh, right before he got signed because he was on this show uh, while he was there. So I don't know if that's an opportunity to go back there. I don't know. Maybe he's done with the wrestling business. Who knows? But if he goes back to it, we're going to hear about it because I don't think people are going to let it go by without somebody saying something when he is booked. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.